Seen all over. Vanessa and Raging Tom. <laughs> talk about more of today's top <laughs> stories. Let's go to Trump. This is... Gosh. So Donald Trump has attempted to outshine the solar eclipse. It's <laughs> the event took place on Monday with his latest campaign video. Take a look at this. I mean, it's extraordinary. We're a different level, aren't we? I mean, I love it already. It's kind of. That's the problem. It's kind of it? giving me an idea, <laughs> you know. This. It's kind of giving me a, another idea. Look at this, Tom. In, Look a what? at this. Oh, hello. Oh, no. No, yes. Look at this. Yes. All oh, right. John Hammond. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I was going to say, there's no cosmic event greater than the <laughs> ego of Donald Trump, but then I've got to add you two to the same bracket. I'm, I'm, right? not honest, I'm surprised I made the cut. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're lucky to have made the cut. <laughs> Damn, Damn lucky. You make the cut. <laughs> but you when you it. watch that... That's not you, actually you. you. When That's you, you watch that, though, you don't for a minute believe it can be Trump's team producing that. You think it must be the opposition. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah, you? Yeah. You think it's the opposition absolutely taking oh, the, the razz out of Trump in the worst way, and then you realise, oh, no, it's being pumped out <laughs> by the Trump factory. I, I, absolutely extraordinary. It's worked, though, hasn't it? It's got people yes, talking, it's it got engagement. That's that's the whole point. It's just make noise, disrupt, disturb. That's the whole thing. But is he Trump. saying he's the dark side of the moon? No, what no, is he saying there? He's bigger than he's the, the sun. sun king. He's bigger, bigger than, than the, the sun. sun. He's wow. going to plummet the world into darkness. Listen, that's what he's saying. Uh, what's so strange, I've, I've, having met Trump in private, he is as bombastic. Have you? I've met Trump in private, yeah. I've been in meetings with Trump. I've listened to Trump on the phone with, with uh, the former prime minister. He is... What you see in public is what you get in private, which is, I mean, area? slightly terrifying. Yeah. Right? He's, and he's and exhausting. And exhausting and deliberate. So is there ever, like, a beat and a moment where he goes, OK, but we do need to talk about no. it? No. Wow. No. He is, he, what you see is what you get. How do you think Trump deals with his anger? That's what I want to know. With his anger? Yeah. I think he just turns up to the nearest television camera and blurts and roars, it. roars, like, like a lion, like an angry lion. How well, would you deal with it? Well, I want to tell you about a study in Japan no, thanks. Uh, on how to deal with <laughs> your anger. Uh, going for a run and screaming into a pillow yep. is a way of dealing with your anger. But apparently the best way to deal with your anger, and I'm talking to you, Tommy, Thank in particular you. here, because you do get quite angry. Oh, I just... The best way is writing it down, writing your thoughts down on a piece of paper, oh, okay. and then shredding it up or oh. burning it. So, I could write an uh, essay this morning. <laughs> How long have you got? I could really keep so going. Apparently, it really, Does it work? really works. This new study in Japan it recruited participants who were asked to write down short um, opinion pieces on important social issues. They were told that their writing would be reviews. However, they all received insulting and negative feedback and were scored low on intelligence. After receiving these <laughs> oh. negative comments, participants were asked to write down their thoughts on a paper. Those who shredded their thoughts thoughts found that their anger was ah. almost totally eliminated. I tell you what, it's like, I just feel grateful I've got a radio show in which I can vent my anger <laughs> quite a lot rather than having to Does write it, it down. Oh, it helps massively. Does it? It helps enormously, I think. Also, swearing a lot. Swearing, Do you know what I mean? I, I, Cathartic I, I, swearing. I would take it out on the weeds in the garden. You go and absolutely ferociously Sorry attack to speak the about your exes. Well, <laughs> I, I, you know, yes. But um, have a good go with the, with the rake and the hoe. Yes. That's the fun. nice kind of hoe. And that way, <laughs> and that way, you've got a beautiful garden that's pristine. You've taken What's out the all your kind anger. Of hoe? No, don't go I there. Don't, don't, don't no, go no, there, no, please. On, You're already in trouble. Come come this I know, I know. Just I calm know. down, calm no, down. Thank you. He didn't mean that. I like going to do a do some weights at the gym. Yeah. That really, like, yeah. changes my mind straight away. It's very good for you exercise. Don't do a very box good. of class, box of size class. Do you not, do you not get the... I like... I, honestly, it's, I like swearing. I mean, I just go for it. Yeah, you just sit there, big raw, and just and where are you, what, you like a kind of just walk into a phone booth and do it. What's the yeah? I just like, uh, yeah, I walk little, into a phone booth, like change my clothes, come out in a cape, no, swear like, a lot. What do you do? Like a little like small room or something? Or, yeah, I just, or just, just sit get down. Kids, sit, sit, get your kids sat down and you sit down on the sofa, <laughs> stay a nice deep breath, just make sure the doors are shut, knock in here, and just really when go. Were for you? It. When were you your most angry? Like, does when you're in the inner workings of of, of a government? Does that get you frustrated and angry? Oh, or yeah, 100%. Does it? Absolutely, What's yeah. the biggest frustration? I think, the, genuinely, the biggest frustration is you can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, you know, how many times have we seen recently over COVID, the biggest example, yeah. the government had the plan ready to go, we all knew what we were doing, don't worry, we've got... You know, the government pulls the lever of power to make this thing happen. It comes off in their hand, nothing happens. The greatest frustration in government is you can't really do anything much. 
We're, we're nobody. I, th I, th I think one of What's the greatest frustrations. Well, I think one of the greatest frustrations with government is the idea that all the key decisions aren't made where we think they are, um, in the way that we think that they should be. They're made by the great and the good and the high and the mighty meeting at kind of secret places. Or now on WhatsApp. Or, or on WhatsApp, but having secret dinners and lunches and God knows what that nobody knows about, where things are cooked up behind the scenes, and I don't like that one bit. Do you? Well, well get your frustration. Yeah. Yeah. I'll start the episode. You want Thank you. I'll have well, it. Share them up with the next story. Keep them going. Up. Come on. Well, I think this is a nice story. Bridget Jones' latest film has been confirmed. She's back. Uh, fourth film's now been confirmed to begin production very soon. Uh, this is obviously Helen Fielding's, and she's written the book, I think. The book's yeah. been out already, right? Yeah? So, Renée Zellweger, Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson set to uh, reprise their roles in uh. the new film, Bridget Jones, Mad About the Boy. And the thing is, here, we, 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 we rejoin Bridget in her 50s, mother to two children. Okay. Plot spoiler? Plot spoiler? Don't, 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 don't say it. Don't say it. Don't bring I mean, the rage. The perfect thing about this is we've sort of grown up with her, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. And every time they give yeah. us a new film and a new development in her life, it's a bit like looking in the mirror in a really warm, gorgeous way. In fact, we wish we looked like that. We wish we were a bit more like that. But it kind of reflects what's going on in our own lives. And it's, it's, it's just great. She's flawed, but she's lovely. Do you worry she? about the reboot? Do you worry nah. that no, it's, it's going to be great? OK, no. no. OK, fine. OK. I kind of right. don't, because I like to, <laughs> like, if we always talk about, it doesn't mean sound too, you know, right on, but we always talk about seeing women projected at a certain time in their lives yeah. and they're, you know, it, it, aspirational and stuff. I love the idea that she's in her 50s Me and she's too. lived and it's a, you know, it's a story of her life. And, and she's self-deprecating yeah. and she's yeah. kind of, you know, she doesn't always get what she wants. She doesn't always look the way she wants. She's just like everyone else. That's exactly. why we like her so much. I and love she her. made big pants really cool. Cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you wear your big pants yeah. with coolness. Mm. I don't care now. No, quite. Yeah. Oh, because of Bridget Jones. Because of Bridget Jones. But that alone but we I love like her. my big Bridget Jonesy pants. I always wear them. And we like you in them. That's Sounds weird, actually. Don't say that. Let's <laughs> cancel like that. Do. That didn't happen. We didn't say that. <laughs> Just out of interest, how often do you wash your jeans? Never. Well, I think every every single time I wear them is that terrible? No, you can't. I had to really time. think about this as well. Because I was not supposed to. You're not supposed to. Maybe like to. three months or something. I just air them out or put them in the freezer. Please don't They're judge me. Smell. Don't judge They're me. I didn't even know that. Well, J Lo yeah. is the latest person to be seen sporting the very expensive designer. Oh, jeans they look that rank. Look like they need a good wash. Oh, oh my God! What's she been? What's she been doing on her knees? Absolutely. She's been rolling around with them. She's been doing something. She looks absolutely disgusting. When he was what in that watching? advert, sitting there watching the, watching his laundry go round, that way he was washing his jeans, wasn't he? Just he sitting was. there in his socks. Do you know what? I'm I am I all for to... the next fashion movement being about being a, just being a bit grubby because that is oh, very much it. my oh, style. I, I, I think that's my vibe. Jeans, jeans that sort of. she's sporting yeah. cost an incredible five hundred pounds. Oh, so six hundred twenty dollars. The jeans are from Acne Studios. Gosh, and they look disgusting, don't they? I have to uh, pay someone to give them well, a bit in, in muddy boots. She genuinely has been rolling around. So what's she been up, Shayla? What have you been up what to? What are you doing? Well, Good Housekeeping recommends that you wash your denim after every three to four there wears oh. also you and keep your basic dark blue and jeans clean. Can you believe that ripped jeans are sold as ripped jeans? Why don't you just rip them yourself? Why can't you just, you know... Because they look better when they're, they're yeah. done properly. Professionally ripped. Yeah. Professionally ripped. ripped. Oh, yeah. The rips are the oh, right man. places, not like, the wrong places. What a grumpy old man you've lived. I know, I'm, really, I'm sorry. Culture. I'm going to write an I'm essay. You, I'm, I'm going to write an essay. <laughs> Let me tell you, back in my day, they weren't ripped. You'd ripped them yourself. <laughs> right, I've got a radio show to get angry Thank on you. in a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Well, that'll be a fun list. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I can't wait. I bet you ain't got something like this. A competition that 